Coming up on today's Panther Beat, this week's Artist of the Week, and a Culture Mix Spotlight on Black History Month. Panther Beat starts right now. Hey O'Fallon, I'm Alec. And I'm Alex, and this is your Panther Beat for Thursday, March 1st. Here's Artist of the Week, Molly Davenroy with Hugh Nijin. Molly Davenroy is this week's Artist of the Week. Here's Molly explaining how she got into art. Uh, I was in sixth grade. I took a, um, a art class, and my teacher was really inspiring, and she gave us a lot of different ways to, do, to interpret our art. Molly says her favorite medium is pastels. Definitely pastels, just because there's different types of pastels, like chalk and oil pastels, and you can do a lot of different things with it. Molly's art is inspired by her dreams and ideas that come to her in the spur of the moment. Congratulations, Molly. Reporting for Panther Beat, this is Hugh Nguyen. Congratulations, Molly. The OTHS College Fair is Wednesday, March 14th, from 5.30 to 8 p.m. in the Dome. You should have pre-registered with your guidance counselor during advisory. Don't miss out on this unique opportunity. College representatives want to talk to you. The boys' volleyball tryouts are March 5th and 6th from 3.45 to 6 o'clock in the Panther Dome. You must register online and bring a current physical. Contact Coach Sheehan or the Athletic Director's Office with any questions you may have. Juniors and seniors, you must have school fees paid before purchasing for prom tickets. Tickets go on sale March 23rd. The John J. Stuby Company is offering summer jobs to, me to mechanically inclined students. Make sure to apply in person at the address below. Application opportunities are Monday through Friday at 3. Blizzard applications are due tomorrow. Applications and drop-offs are in the main office at either campus. Seniors, Student Council is offering an honor roll of scholarship for $500. Applications are due Wednesday, February 28th in room 401. There is a list of private and local scholarships on the guidance webpage. Stop by guidance or email Ms. O'Neill if you have any questions. Kaylee Perrier is the Female Student of the Month for February. Here's Kevin Liu with more. Congratulations to Kaylee Perrier for being awarded the Female Student of the Month for February. Kaylee participated in many clubs and activities such as Leadership Council, Model UN, National Honor Society, Math Team, Athletic Leadership Council, Saturday Scholars, and French Honor Society. Currently, Kaylee is a captain for both cross country and track and field, and a leader for her youth group. She also received a number of honors and awards, including Presidential Volunteer Service Silver Award, Scholar, Athlete, Superior Delegation, and so much more. Hope you have a great future ahead of you, Kaylee. Congratulations, Kaylee. Thanks, Kevin. If you're thinking about attending Mississippi State, be sure to attend their upcoming preview days on March 19th and March 26th. Cost is $10 per person. Register online at the link below. Juniors, stop by Guidance to check out a job shadow man experience this spring. Pick up an application and return by Friday, March 16th. Now let's pass it over to the birthdays. Hi O'Fallon, I'm T.R. Saverson with your birthdays for Thursday, March 1st. Happy birthday goes out to Ian Birch, Contrero Cobb, Anthony Cordova, Jalisha Ellis, Kendall Graham, Cameron Jackson, Ryan Trello. Carrie Fox, and Jackson Lay. And a very special happy birthday goes out to Miss Medley. Now let's pass it back to the news desk. And now for today's news. Interact Club meets Wednesday, March 7th in room 405. And the Sports Award Night for the girls basketball team is Wednesday and the NPR at 6 o'clock. Chemistry Club members, your permission slips for the upcoming field trips are due tomorrow to room 811. If you're traveling to McKendry to watch the performance of The Importance of Being Earnest, meet in front of the entrance of Smiley promptly at 5.15 on Saturday. You will eat dinner prior to performance. If you are late, you will be left behind. French Club meets Friday after school in room 312 for a scavenger hunt. And Hosa meets today after school in room 402 for a guest speaker. Spanish Club meets tomorrow after school in room 103 to write letters to Parkland, Florida and discuss the Pulsera project. Robotics members, your competition permission slips are due tomorrow, March 2nd. Forms can be turned into either Mrs. Garrison in room 1024 or Mrs. Canvany in room 507. That's it for today, O'Fallon. Stay tuned for a Keeping Up with the Kardashians themed pop culture showdown with Miss Stevens. Oh 
my God, Kim, people are dying in this world. Kim, there are people dying. Kylie. Kylie Jenner. Three. Three. Uh, Courtney. Courtney. Kendall. Kendall. For up-to-date news, videos, and more, head over to OTHSToday.com. Have a great day, everyone. See ya. Robert Smalls was born on April 5, 1839, and lived until February 23, 1915. He was an African-American born into slavery in Beaufort, South Carolina, but during and after the American Civil War, he became a ship's pilot, sea captain, and politician. He freed himself, his crew, and their families from slavery on May 13, 1862 when he led an uprising aboard a Confederate transport ship, the CSS Planter, in Charleston Harbor and sailed it north to freedom. His feat successfully helped persuade President Abraham Lincoln to accept African-American soldiers into the Union Army. As a politician, Smalls authored state legislation that gave South Carolina the first free and compulsory public school system in the United States. Martin Robinson Delaney was an African-American abolitionist, journalist, physician, and writer. He was born free in Charlestown, West Virginia. Delaney was an outspoken black nationalist, arguably the first and is considered by some to be the grandfather of black nationalism. He was also one of the first three blacks admitted to Harvard Medical School. Trained as an assistant and a physician, treated patients during the cholera epidemics of 1833 and 1854 in Pittsburgh, when many doctors and residents fled the city. Active in recruiting blacks for the United States colored troops, he was commissioned as a major, the first African American field officer in the United States Army during the American Civil War. Dr. Daniel H. Williams. Daniel H. Williams was born on January 18, 1856 in Hollidaysburg, Pennsylvania. He was the fifth of eight children. After the death of his father, Williams eventually studied under Dr. Henry Palmer, an accomplished surgeon in 1891. Williams opened the first hospital with racially integrated staff members. In 1893, he became one of the first people to perform an open heart surgery. Williams died on August 4th, 1931.